Hello everyone and welcome back to Astroneer. We're here on Silva at our main base where last time we used these curious items right here to rip a temporal anomaly into the sky over the planet. And I have no idea what impact that's going to have when we try to leave the planet. Something's going to happen. Or perhaps if we should bring these to other planets and introduce temporal anomalies there. Maybe even to the floating platform when we head that way. Uh, but since we don't know exactly what these are, or if they're a mission chain or a quest chain or something that we have to advance in some other fashion, I'm just going to leave this guy broken for now. And we're going to go on with our business as, uh, as we would if the sky were not broken and see whether that changes anything. But uh, for now, we have two missions left on the mission log. Two big ones, too. Hopefully we get some, some big answers to big questions. So first of all, we have this mission, Help. I am stuck. Help, 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 help. Hit the green button. And our reward is a fault finder. Let's track this mission to complete it. Completed. Now we get the fault finder. Okay. Uh, let's... Where is the... Was that a schematic or an item? Uh, or no, we have to complete it. Ooh, that's a chronal anomaly thing. What is this? Okay. Fault finder. Missing data detector. Defragments code to retrieve lost data in the Astroneer training program. Tears in the simulation may be located on the surface of any planet. Tears in the simulation? Huh. Now, that sort of suggests that nothing is real, right? This, this whole adventure that we've been on has been a simulation, perhaps, part of the training program? Could be. Let's use it. What are you? There was like a little teeny tiny baby fox there. It seems like it wants us to place this, place this thing over here, maybe? Or use it here? Maybe stand in the circle and use it? What? <laughs> what does this want? Maybe we place it down. Right there, and use it there. Is that aiming into the ground? What is that doing? It's got two of two sections are yellow here. Well, what, that doesn't seem to be it. Huh. It's beeping. All right. Well, Sylvie is hungry. Let's feed her. This is this is this is crazy, man. It's getting a little a little out there. I don't know what that thing is doing. It's still at two. All right, let's check our mission log here. A fault in the stars. Use fault finder to spawn AV unit into simulation instance. 
instance resonance achieved. Please use this device to help me sync with your instance. Trial and error may be required. I rushed the code for this. Use Fault Finder to spawn Ava unit into simulation instance. Okay. It's pointing that way. Maybe we follow it? Maybe we follow, maybe it's pointing us in a direction. Let's go this way. Yeah, see, here's here's the. It's like trying to. It's trying to show up here, and then there's this circle. I don't know what this means yet. So when we try to when we try to place it in there, it like it kind of collapses the circle. Something's trying to appear there. I'm not sure what to do here. I'm not sure what it means that this circle is here. Like, this looks like the shape of the thing, right? So if we place it right here in that exact location and use it, then what? Now it's pointing over there. Oh, oh, look, the, the fox is bigger. Okay, so we want to we want to we want to move it to the new location. Okay, got it. Got it. Got it. Oh yeah, look, it's got three it's got three segments now and they're green instead of yellow. Okay, let's move this over here, center it where it has to. Right on the spot. Wow. Whoa. It's a space fox. Ava, emergency virtual avatar. A new friend who seems familiar with your situation. She needs your assistance with her mission. Wow, look at her, look at her cool cosmic tail. All right, let's check out the mission log for this. This is very interesting to me. Uh, we've got spare hydrazine. Okay. Uh, check the mission log. Oops. Hi, I'm Ava. Hello. Do not be alarmed. My name is Ava, just like it says in the title of this mission. Yes, I am talking to you through your mission log. It was the easiest way for me to reach you in the simulation. Push the big green button to demonstrate comprehension. All right, so she's suggesting, or this mission log is suggesting, that all of this is an Astroneer training simulation. I guess that would explain all the failed missions, right? The the giant scattering of, of destroyed and strewn debris all over every single planet. If thousands of Astroneer candidates have been through this simulation before, wow, okay, this is interesting. Let's keep going with this mission chain. Okay. Uh, emergency virtual avatar. Press F to read. Hello again. Now we can talk face to face. Updated. Hold red on my first tooltip. Uh, I need your help to carry out my mission. It is very important that you understand. I have been locked out of the control room and need access to the console. By now you should have noticed that something is very wrong. Good job. You're very observant. Here, I have a new mission for you. We can continue conversing in your mission log. Okay, so we had a mission called We Need to Talk. What happened to I Need We Need to Talk? You did it. Good job. I have another way for you to talk to me. Please come close, please. <laughs> this is amazing. All right. I know you like missions. Hit the big green button to demonstrate comprehensions. Uh, comprehension. I made you a new mission because astroneers love missions. Now, please listen. The first thing we need to do is bypass the firewall. And she disappeared. Okay. 
This is, this is fascinating, guys. This is great. Okay. What's next? Controlled firewall. Find and use a curious item. Have you found a curious item yet? I need you to find one and use it. It should not exist, but that's why I need it. It will help us disable the firewall so you can access the control room. Okay. You may find them attached to backpacks across the instance. The Galastropod Usagi can be utilized to help track them down. As a reward, we get a large shuttle, a solid fuel thruster, and 5,000 bytes. Well, we don't need any of that, but we've certainly used a curious item. Uh, okay, so now we know that they're related to this mission. That's interesting. We've already used one. You could, you could tell, right? So if we use one now, it'll reset things back. But let's go ahead and do as she has asked. Completed. Control firewall. All right. Uh, I don't really want to complete this because I don't want to clutter up my my space with all this extra junk. But okay, let's let's finish this one. Yeah, there's a shuttle and a thruster. Okay. Don't really need this. Uh, what am I gonna do with it? Guess we'll stick it over here for now. The extra large object dump plus plus organic. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> this is great, man. Behind the curtain. Travel to the sun. Yes, this is working. The firewall is breached. Now I need you to meet me in the control room. Wow. Okay. Well, let's gear up, I guess. Travel to the sun. Maybe we should have taken her shuttle instead of ours. Oh, look, you can see, you can see the breakage. Oh, wow. Look at this. This is so cool. The breakage in the simulation. So it's not time travel. Or maybe it is. Maybe the simulation is a lie. Sunroom with glitched code. Let's go. Oh, <laughs> what? 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 Oh, wow, that used up quite a lot of our fuel, actually. Uh, okay. This is kind of crazy. We've got lots of stations, not ordinary landing sites. Stations, all right. Let's just pick one and go. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, here we are at the sun. I said I had questions that I wanted answers to. Damn. All right, I'm gonna put our spare hydrazine on the on the shuttle here. No, where did that go? On the thruster, please. Okay, now we got 50% fuel. All right, I gotta remember to grab more hydrazine. Look at this. Look at this. There's a whole model simulation, simulating the simulation, tracking the simulation. No reward for this. New mission, time out. Access the sunroom log. You have arrived. This is good. What is not good is that I had to shut down the control room to grant you access to this place. You'll have to reboot the system so we can continue. Okay. Wow. Look at this. The floor's like digital. I wonder if this represents like RAM, random access memory or something for the system, like in use, right? Little bits and pieces of the heap and the stack. Memo Coil 3 Memory Integrator integrates compiled memory, memory capsules into operating system framework. Memo Coil 2, Memo Coil 1, okay. Look at this, look at this. This is amazing, all right. What do we got up here? What are you? Some kind of printer or scanner, maybe? Oh, look at this. It's a, it's a truncated pentacoron, I think. 
Is this one of the things from the cores? Or no, it's similar, but it's not exactly the same. We've got a control panel with a mission log. And the sunroom control center data log. This panel contains informational data regarding the Astroneer training program and management. Okay, well, I don't think the fox was bluffing. I think we've been in a training simulation this whole time. But okay, I'm still, I'm still enjoying the missions. I'm enjoying the ride, right? Warning, data corruption, initiate reboot. Hell yeah. There's our fox friend, giggling like the snails. But if this is a training mission, what's with like the 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 the, the attack on the ESS Triton and the all the other log stuff we found? And who is this? He's got a little crown. Ava, emergency virtual av avatar. We can continue conversing in your mission log. And she's kind of purring. Where was the error guy? The 101, the red-faced guy. Where did he go? He was here briefly. He had a little crown on it on him. On his... So you see on our head, we have this little antenna with the curve in it. I guess that's... Maybe that's different per suit. But his antenna had a little crown on it. Almost as if he was like the ruler of, of the simulation. Maybe it's an AI. This is, this is some far out there stuff, man. This is cool. Okay, attempt file recovery. Okay, personal logs, Kronos. Elysium. The ESS Triton has been missing for nearly five months now, and with it, my sister Undine. I know our fathers are worried. The Elysium has been reassigned to an emergency rescue mission. Okay, so the Triton and the Elysium, both of these have been mentioned. The Triton, obviously, was the Xenobiology Lab, and the Elysium was mentioned in the Curious Items. We've taken on several members of the Luna One research base team to aid in our efforts. EXO has assembled an exceptional group of specialists for this endeavor between the two crews. This is understandable. It's unclear what happened to the Triton or what sort of aid they may need. Still, I find myself hoping we're all over-preparing for nothing, that Undine isn't answering our calls because of a communications malfunction. I have not lost hope. Even if the Triton is in trouble, I know she would do anything to protect her crew. And then we've got five more locked encrypted personal logs from Kronos. Then there's a section called Astroneer Training Program. Planet Observations, Sunroom. The Sunroom is the virtual control center for the entire Astroneer Training Program. From here, I can monitor every crew member in every instance while still interfacing with the Elysium's core systems. Even so, the damage we sustained in the crash landing was substantial. This has caused some issues within the training program with memory leaks from both the Elysium case files and the mind banks. I've patched as much of the damage as I can with my own code for now, but Dr. Stone's personnel logs are still causing instability issues. I found strange monoliths on both moons, now that I'm sure are memories of his chess set. Planet observations for Novus. Out of all the celestial bodies recreated for the training program, Novus suffered the most from the Elysium's crash. You know what I just realized? On Aatrox, we had that error load region. That ties in as well to the idea that it's all a simulation. Okay, uh, so back to Novus. Novus suffered the most from the Elysium's crash. So, so, so all of this is a simulation being run on the Elysium's power? Uh, the Elysium's computer systems, I guess. Uh, though this outcome is unfortunate, it has given me leave to use Novus for my own purposes. With so many things going wrong, I'm putting a contingency in place, something I can direct Ava toward in the event of catastrophic failure. To that end, I have planted seeds on Novus that shall act as decryption keys once they fully germinate. I've updated Ava's protocols to ensure she understands exactly how to use them and to what end. I think those are the fractal roses. And then we've got four more encrypted Astroneer training program entries. Wow, okay. This is getting cool, you guys. This is getting really interesting. Rogel's out of power, so our battery has drained. I need to turn this off. And get some power somehow, some way. 
Okay, let's check the mission log. Need input. Hold read on my first tooltip and on my second tooltip. Come close again. Let's talk face to face. I need to make certain you understand. Uh, the reward is a QTRTG and a portable oxygenator. Okay. Please try not to be overwhelmed by this place. I know it is impressive, but you must not lose focus. The files I need to complete my mission are not here, or they are here, but they also are not. They make no sense. Okay, we can, we can get the reward when we go home. Memory disassembly. According to the system logs, Kronos's mind bank was damaged. He seeded his memories across the simulation, but they're encrypted. Are you listening? We get a landing pad, a solid fuel thruster, a small canister. This is nuts, man. Novus Roses. We must travel to Novus and harvest the decryption keys Kronos planted for us. And by we, I mean you. I will remain here and triangulate the location of Kronos's memories while you run around. Good luck. Collect... Harvest fractal roses from Novus craters and collect a fractal rose seed. Six of each. Okay. All right. Well, looks like we have a mission. A new friend who seems familiar with your situation. She needs your assistance with her mission. All right, guys. This is this is really cool stuff. Let's go to Novus and harvest some roses. Now, does it take more to launch from the sun, or was I just low on resources? We were at 50. The sun room. Yeah, and there's the unidentified satellite. Okay. Well, let's go to Novus, I guess. Now, how much gas do we have left right now? 42%, 10 launches. Okay, we're fine. All right. We can get back home, no problem, if we need to. So let's land at our landing pad. I think we have food for the power snail here. Yeah, we do. Okay, good. Uh, but not the right food. He needs a cataplant. Well, we can feed him something else for now. eat that and then we can find a uh, we can find a cataplat soon enough alright so here are some fractal roses let's be careful not to accidentally pop a coral hold on let me see what this says I read a book once about a boy and his rose to love something so dearly means you must take both care and responsibility for it I hope I never forget that Kronos what about this one same story same story. All right. Well, let's get six of these going. There's two. Oh. Uh, here we go. There's three. There's four. And I think we're running out of space here. So let's go back and drop these off. Are we? No, we have, we have two more. Okay. What did I pick up there? Research sample. Oh, 121 bytes. Okay. There's six. All right. That's that taken care of. I guess we... Hold on. Uh... Did we get a reward for that? Novus Roses. There was no reward. Okay. So, in terms of rewards, we can get a landing pad, a solid fuel thruster, and a small can canister. And we can get a portable oxygenator and a QTRTG. We can get that anywhere we want it. Um, I don't really need either of these, so we'll hold on to this and probably just claim it back at Silva and throw these things in the pit. Um... We don't need a landing pad. We don't need a solid fuel thruster or a small canister. 
We don't need a portable oxygenator. We have one. You can always use another RTG, but not really. We already have like 12 just hooked up at home. So I don't really need these things. Let's look at memory fault peril. You have obtained the decryption keys. Let's take a moment to celebrate. Hooray. I have found a memory signal in Visania's planetary code. Plant the decryption keys on Visania in the indicated zones and I will reward your efforts. Okay. Fractal roses planted on Visania Mountain and Visania Valley. Okay, so we're going to take the seeds to Visania and plant them. We are going to have to go home for Hydrazine soon-ish. We can definitely get to a couple more planets. Uh, Visania. Mountain and Valley. Those are regions, right? Uh, so we probably need to go to the right region and plant these. Oh, there we go. There's the right food for our little buddy. Uh, let's get you that. Okay. Get that planted. So, what region are we in? I didn't see when we landed. Let's get a region change going. Okay, these are the rolling planes, so if we go back to the ship, where is that? Whoa. Not cool, man. It didn't really give me a... Region Valleys. Okay, so we are in the valleys. So we can plant three seeds here. Let's add them to our little garden, I guess. Okay. Three more fractal roses. These are germinating. All right, so now we need to find the closest mountain. Uh, man, I really wish I had the VTOL now. Right? And there, we can see this, the, the sky is cracked here as well. Okay. So where's the nearest mountain going to be? Let's get some height and take a look around. Yeah, we're, you know what? I got to be careful with this hydrazine. We're almost out. Maybe over there? Region Mountains. Okay. I kind of wish I had a beacon right now in case we have to come back for these, but uh, we have a general idea of where they are. another one of these now. What happened to the third rose? I guess she took it. A device used for locating Kronos' fractured memories. Motes discovered by this fault finder can be collected by approaching them. Return each moat to the fault finder to store the fractured memories. Tears in the simulation. Oh, so that's what the collection meant. That's how it, it filled up, remember? So it finds the nearest one and asks to be placed there. So that's that's collected one, and then if we take it over there, I think it kind of like points us towards the next one. So now it's got two, and it's given us the location of a third one. It's weird here in the mountains. There's three. And the fourth one is over there. Okay. Still got to be careful not to die. Let's 
something flew off over the over the horizon there. What, uh, what does the mission log say right now? Use Fault Finder to discover memory fragments at Kodan Basenia. There we go. Retrieve memory of peril. peril. We can now access the planetary code. We're doing very well. I've also recalibrated the Fault Finder to draw out memory fragments. Once you've used it, bring the fragments of memory back to the Fault Finder for collection. So do I have to leave it here? Yeah, I can't, I can't pick it up anymore. But there's a new, there's a new one zero zero one zero one zero one one zero one. There's a new marker on the compass. Okay. Oh, look at this. There's another thumbnail for you. <laughs> Man, the game, like for a long time, it was just a base building and resource management game, but there were hints of this. And now we're finally getting to the good stuff. Man, this is cool. All right, so how do I, what do I do? How do I collect it? Do I build something up to it or? Oh, it's a giant, it's a giant circle with this thing in the center. But I don't know, I don't know what to do here. Let me see if I can get up to it. I can indeed get up to it, but I can't seem to interact with it. I'm not sure what to do here to uh, to capture it. Do I try to suck it up with the, the the gun? No. The terrain tool? What do I do here? Do I jump into it? No. It's floating around as I kind of move. Let me double check here. Memory fragment. Retrieve memory of peril. Once you've used it, bring the fragments of memory back to the fault finder for collection. I don't know how to capture it or make it move. Will it follow me now that I've gotten close to it? Yes. Okay. It's going to follow along after me. Got it. Okay. All right. We can make this work. Just to make sure there's no plants here. Now what? Does it just orbit for a minute and then go in? Oh, is there more than one? There's more than one. Okay. Oh, I see. There's another one over there. Okay. Let's go get this one. Okay. So I think while the ring is active, it's not collected. Now it's collected. Okay. So we can bring this back. Here's number two. He's joined the constellation. All right. I saw another one over here. Where was it? Where did it go? There's another one over here. Yeah, over there. There we go. It would, it would have to be on this, like, mountainside, right? There we go. There's a third one. Okay, there's three. I don't know how many it wants. Uh, there's one more in this direction. Let's go grab that one. Oh, is it is it down? This one has to be down, right? Because it's not up. Is it down? I don't see it. Where... Where is it? Oh, wait, is it... I can't tell. Is it higher up? It is higher up. Hold on. Okay. There it is. Sort of hidden from me. There we go. Okay. I'm running real low on 
on the uh, the old hydrazine here. I gotta be careful. Let's mine some of this out to get some soil going. Okay. And then we take this back. There's the fourth one. Is that enough? Nope. Wants more than four. All right. It wants. I guess it wants five. More than five seems obnoxious, but we'll try. We'll keep going until we finish this. There are the roses we planted. Uh, it's the same memory. I read a book once about a boy and his rose. To love something so dearly means you must both take care of and responsibility for it. I hope I never forget that. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. Here's your fifth memory fragment. Now I can use this. Okay. Chronos memory ready for decryption. Wow. Okay. <laughs> oh, one of these things. And then it sucks it up. Okay. Completed memory fragment peril. Uh, that was another one with no reward. Okay. So now we have a new active tracked mission. Memory integration peril. Place memory of peril on sunroom memo coil. All right, so there were three memo coils. So we might have to do this three times. It is now time to return to the sunroom with the memory. Please place it on the memo coil. When you return in, I will begin the reintegration protocol. Reward, three fireworks. <laughs> okay. Well, let's head back to the ship. Okay, uh, you know what, since we're here, let me harvest up a few more of these seeds for uh, Rogal. We can plant these as we go to various places. Uh, he needs one to eat, so we'll only have really one to go with. Uh, but that's enough to get started somewhere. Should I be using these? I don't know. Probably not. Okay, let's go back to the sunroom. That's attached, right? Yeah, okay. Let's go back to the sunroom. What a cool end of end game mission, man! What a great mission chain. This is this is really neat. I'm really enjoying this so far. I think they could have done three memory fragments instead of five, but that's me nitpicking, right? That's me being a little little nitpicky. And we've got the fault finder on our back. All right, so we throw this on memo coil one. I think. I think that's what it said. Yeah, here we go. That must be Kronos. That's gotta be, right? That's who we're trying to fix. He's the AI that controls the simulation. Okay. New mission. Uh, we've got fireworks and whatever back home. What was lost? Access the sunroom log. Success! We are a good team. Check the sunroom log for new entries. Perhaps they will contain the information that we need. I'm happy to do so. Love to read lore. 
Okay, uh, emergency, a new personal log. Undine is gone and the Elysium is in trouble. We found what was left of the Triton. I don't know what manner of creature attacked us, but I could hear it. Whispering, laughing. We've crashed on an uncharted planet somewhere in the frontier. It was all I could do to get the ship to safety. Stone's override code locked me out of the core systems. The mine banks are sustaining damage faster than I can make repairs. I cannot reach EXO and the printer is offline. I've transferred the remaining crew's consciousness to the Astroneer training program for now until I can figure something out. I could not save Undine, but I will save them. My crewmates must survive. So, wait a minute. Kronos, if he has a sister, then he can't be an AI. He's got to be some kind of, like, IT wizard, right? Unless Undine is another AI. But the 1010 stuff on his face, maybe that just means... His consciousness is fragmented inside inside the, uh, the computer system? I don't know. What else do we have? We've got new planetary observations for Vesania. I remember the first time I laid eyes on Vesania. It was a wild, beautiful planet full of alien architecture, the likes of which EXO had never seen before. Some of that architecture has survived, and I believe the training program is using it to visualize terminal nodes deep within each of its planets. Those are the cores. Mission data, however, was irretrievable. Vesania was a research hub where astroneers could study the strange architecture without disturbing it. The training, simula uh, the training program simulated this in part, but any further data was lost when the mine bank's integrity began to deteriorate. And then observations about Aatrox. Aatrox's data seems mostly intact within the training program, though the impact scar from its antimatter comet event isn't loading properly and the radiation has been eliminated. Typically, an astroneer must be specially printed to survive on Aatrox with a potassium iodine component to their pudding and a lightweight magnetic shield built into their suits. Between the planet's notorious radiation storms and the dangerous flora and fauna that reside there, it's difficult to believe Aatrox is one of the most coveted outpost assignments. Surviving Aatrox is a badge of honor for the astroneer explorer branch. The storm files are currently offline in the program, I'm sure it's some sort of error with the advanced settings. Man, this is this is revealing a lot, man. This is this is fantastic stuff. What is this? LRD subject number 16. Okay, based on Dr. Stone's research. The information regarding LRD number 16 being aboard the Triton I found in Dr. Stone's files was concerning. Was it affecting his mind somehow? Is that why he sabotaged the Elysium? <laughs> okay. So Dr. Stone thinks he's finding magic secrets in the in the resonance files. He's burning up all the resources. He's he's damaging the trains. He's like I don't know. Maybe he's uh he's a little bit eccentric. Maybe he's not um maybe he's on the autism spectrum. Maybe he can't properly evaluate other people's emotions and their their concerns. He keeps he keeps writing these le le letters to Bell about please advise and ignoring her concerns and just plowing forward. Now it's suggesting this LRD was found aboard the Triton, the ESS Triton, the Xenobiology Lab. Or was wait was the Triton? No, that was the Xenobiology Lab. I can't remember which one was the train lab where Doctor Stone and Conductor Bell were working. But it now suggests that he's he sabotaged the Elysium, the rescue ship. EXO classified the LRDs as dangerous. I found strange signals in Stone's recordings, whispering like that creature we encountered in the Triton's wreckage. I've isolated the files for now. They won't stop laughing. Kronos. Oh my god, this guy's this is blowing my mind. This is amazing. There's the whispering and the laughter. Oh gosh, this is this is crazy. Okay. Wait. I'm having Oh, I had my fingers on the wrong keys. For a second I was gonna say I'm having trouble controlling the astroneer. Something's wrong, but I just had my fingers on the wrong keys. I'm too amped, man. Too amped about this. Alright, we've been through the sun the sunroom data files. We've seen all the logs. Right? Okay, let's check the mission log. Uh, the crash. Do you understand what happened? The Elysium crashed and now we're all here. 
except you can only talk to me and anyone you've managed to join instances with. It's up to us to restore Kronos. You are a very good helper. I've made another mission to cheer you up. However, I have good news and bad news. Please come close. The good news is that the Elysium crew has been helping Kronos all along by activating the gateways. Good job. The bad news is that the crash has also upset the simulation. That is why it is breaking. Uh, there is more bad news. I thought, I thought a new mission might soften the impact. The memory you decrypted is not the one I need to restore Kronos. We must keep looking. I'm going to check planetary data. Press the button if you agree that this is sad, but we must keep going. <laughs> Our reward is six fractal rose seeds. Okay. Memory fault discovery. For morale, it's important that you receive good news now. I have detected another memory in Aatrox's planetary code. It's good that you enjoy space travel. Please take decryption keys and plant them in the zones I have indicated there. Plant fractal roses on Aatrox dunes. Plant fractal roses on Aatrox canyons. Okay, wow. All right, well, guys, that's uh, that's a 45, that's a 46 minutes. So I'm gonna call it here, but this is fantastic. This is, this is great stuff. And I'm really loving this. This is... Uh, all the reveals, all the secrets, all the... Fi finally, we're getting the truth, right? After all this time, we're finally getting the last little bits of the secret. We're, we're finding out what happened to the ships, what we're doing here. Don't know who we are, but maybe that'll be answered as well. What's our end goal, right? What's the, what's the grand finale? Um, this is a really nice endgame mission set. It's really cool, so... We're going to have to head back to Silva to load up on Hydrazine and mission rewards, including the six seeds that we need. And then we'll head back to Aatrox and plant them and see what else we can learn as we progress through this final mission chain before we head up to the mysterious uh, satellite and finish the game. So I hope you guys uh, will come with me on these last few episodes, these last few missions as we complete our journey through Astroneer. Uh, I think this is amazing and fantastic and really well done. And... Uh, I'm going to enjoy the heck out of it. I hope you will, too. Uh, so until next time, as always, thanks for watching, and thanks for commenting, and we'll see you in the next episode. Take care.